first things first, can we talk about team news and what's the latest ahead of the game against Kilmarnock, please? Um, well, we're, we're in a good state team wise. We've got everybody fit. Everybody's trained this morning, so um, no, we're, we're we're fairly healthy from that point of view. So we're looking forward to. It. What's the latest with the Tom Tayu situation? Yeah, well, it's, it's obviously Tom has been in for the last uh, probably last week training, and uh, I think we got most stuff done yesterday. So um, I think it's just now to be clarified with the with the league to make sure he can play. Um, I don't think he'll be available for the weekend, so. Hopefully, the following week he should be available. What will he bring to the, the equation? Do you feel overall? I think he's he's a uh, he's played a lot of games for a, for a young lad. He's, he's he's only a young boy. He's played a lot of games. He's, he's plenty of experience. He's a good footballer. Um, you know, he's he's he gets on the ball. He's tenacious. He's a winner. He's a fantastic attitude as well around the place. So uh, he's another good addition to the squad. Something we've been looking for and. We spoke about bringing in experienced players, which we have done, but we also have brought in Ryan and Tom now, who are in you know an age bracket that we're looking to recruit in as well. Um, so we've got a good balance to the squad, so we're delighted to have them on board. Team photo call was on Thursday, which highlighted that you've perhaps gone for quantity rather than, oh, sorry quality rather than quantity over the course of, of the summer. But you must be really pleased to have ten new additions to the squad. I'm delighted. I think you know we we spoke obviously at the end of last season with with a big big squad. Um, you know, we I think we were twenty nine players when I came into the club, so I felt that was too big as well. Um, but again, we have to be aware as well financially what we're doing and where we are. So we did look at maybe getting a bit more quality into the squad, and that would obviously mean less numbers. But we've also got some good young players that are in the club already, which we need to utilise as well and make sure that they don't go get blocked by bringing in too many players. And um, the progress, the likes of the three boys that are in at the moment, San, Sammy, Danny, and Russ. You know, if you bring in a load of other players, then you can stop their progress. So it's important that we, we get a balance right. I think we've got a good squad at the moment. Um, I'm delighted with the players we brought in. But it's about now performing on the pitch. It's OK saying we brought in good players. We've got to go and perform on the pitch on a regular basis. Now. Ryan McGiven's been allocated the squad number three for the SBL season. Do you see him as an out-and-out -out left back? Yeah, he can, he, he can play centre-half as well. That's, that's another, you know, when you don't have... Uh, a big squad you're obviously looking players you're signing that there can be a little bit of utility with them that they can play in one or two different areas and Ryan gives us that along with probably most of our back four to be fair they can go and play in different areas you know so so we've got even though we don't have a lot of defenders in the club we've got most of them that can go and cover in a lot of positions which is great um, you know but he's um, predominantly a left back he played a lot of games last year obviously in the championship so uh, another great addition to the squad great age as well and um, good attitude as well so we I think we, the players we brought in, we recruited well, but it's now, you know, all that, like I said, is about talking about, it's now time to go and deliver on the park. It was a strong competitive team already, you've now added two decent players as well. How would you sum up the level of competition for players? Yes, right it's probably the best it's been, uh, you know, even looking at the team for, for tomorrow, this morning in relation to the training and, and a bit of shape we've done and that sort of thing. We, we're now looking at some really good players sitting on the bench and maybe one or two not making the bench, so it's... Uh, it's it's competition that we're pleased with. We we you know we've got options to be able to change it as well, which is great. So, and it's like everything. Competition is healthy, keeps everybody on their toes. And you know, if you don't perform to a level that is adequate and that we expect, well, then there is someone good enough to step in.